Do you struggle to keep track of all the pop-up notifications across Zoho One applications? Hi, I'm Zach Spader with Cornerstone Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a unified notification system using Zoho Click. Let's take a look. Okay, so if you're like me, you use a lot of different Zoho applications, and there's notifications in all of them. And so like I'm in the CRM here, there's a notification activity reminders down here at the bottom. These are always popping up for me, but I may not always be in the CRM. I may be in a different application. And so it's really easy for me to miss these pop-up notifications because I may not be in the actual application. But I have Zoho Click installed on my computer and Zoho Click gives me like audible notifications in a lot of different applications, not just the CRM. It works in desk and it works in projects and all these other different applications, uh, your Zoho Mail. Um, so no matter what application you're in, you're going to get these click notifications. And so I found it really helpful to start using click to have a central location to keep all of my notifications. So I'm going to show you how to do that today in a couple different examples of, of how you can set this up to uh, get notifications from different applications. Okay, so we're in CRM right now. Um, a couple of prerequisites for this, you need to install the click application. So I'm going to go to setup here real quick. I'm going to go to marketplace. You can see that I already have the Zoho Click app installed here. Zoho Click for CRM, really simple ins installation, no settings whatsoever. You just click to install it and installs uh, and the functionality is there. So what I want to do today, I'm going to create two different notifications in uh, the CRM using Click. So I'm going to go to setup. I'm going to go to automation. I'm going to create a new rule. I want to get a notification whenever a new lead is added to the CRM. So I'm going to choose the leads module and I'm going to call this new lead notification. Okay, it's going to be based on a record action, based on create. We're going to do this for all leads. And then in the action section here under notify, you'll see we can notify via email, but I want to use the via Zoho click. So I'm going to choose Zoho click here. Okay, it says notify to. What do I want to notify to? I can select a particular user um, um, or I can select a channel. Now that's the other prerequisite. I have in click, gone over here to click and added a notification channel, Zoho notification channel in Zoho Click. So that's the other prerequisite that you want to do is where do you want these to come into? I went ahead and created this specific notification channel that all of my notifications are going to come to. So when I'm in the CRM and I choose channels here, that Zoho Click channel that I chose, Zoho notifications, is there for me to choose. And just click Save. OK, let's test that one out real quick just to make sure that that's working. I'm going to go to my leads module. And we're going to create a new lead. OK, man, almost before I was able to save the record, you see here down in the bottom of my screen here, Zoho notifications, boom, new, new record here, view record. Um, so I, I got this notification immediately as soon as, uh, as soon as I click the save button here. So again, if I go over to click, I can see uh, Zoho CRM, uh, the, the new record that was added. I can go actually click on this and it'll take me to the record. Um, you can customize these notifications in a little bit so that it has a little bit more information uh, that comes over with the actual notification. Um, but I can see that that's, that's working here. Okay, great. Okay, so the next one I wanna do is um, I get busy working and sometimes uh, a meeting will start and I will completely miss the start of a meeting. And so I want to get a notification whenever one of my meetings starts. I have my Google Calendar connected to the CRM. So all of my calendar events sync back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into setup here. I'm going to go to workflow rules. I'm going to create a new rule. This one is going to be based on the meeting module. And we're going to call it meeting start notification. 
Now this one is gonna be based on a time date field. And it's gonna be based on the from time. From time is the start time of the meeting. And so uh, definite execution date. And so we're gonna do that on the date uh, of the, the meeting. The execution time is going to be the same time as it is in the from field. Um, you can do some other things too, like you could do 10 minutes before if you wanted to. You could say, remind me 10 minutes before the meeting. You can do that. I just want it to remind me on time so that I know to jump on the meeting. So I'm going to choose same time as in the field. And we're only going to do it once, okay? We're going to do it with all meetings. In this particular case, um, I selected all meetings. If you have multiple people in the CRM, multiple calendars connected, uh, maybe this is a click channel that you share. Uh, maybe you would want to have a specific click channel just for you or your notifications. And then you could put as a condition in here that the meeting owner or the host of the meeting was your user ID. But you could do it with all user IDs as well. So I'm just going to click all meetings. Again, we're going to choose the notify option via Zoho Click. And again, we're going to choose the click channels. And Zoho notifications. And then save. And that's all set up. So now when a meeting starts at the start time, it's going to send a notification to uh, that click channel. There's obviously, I'm just showing you stuff in the CRM right now. So I want to show you a, a different application here that you can use to co connect to any Zoho application, which is Zoho Flow. Now I've done videos on Zoho Flow before. Uh, you know that you can use Flow to connect to not only Zoho applications, but uh, third-party applications outside the Zoho Ecoverse. Um, you, you know, this is like a drag and drop integration tool that you can use. And so I'm going to use Flow to create one more click notification here. So I'm going to go ahead and click create, and I'm going to create a new flow. And this time I want to know when a new ticket comes into Zoho Desk. So we're going to call this desk ticket notification. And I'm going to trigger it with an app. We're going to trigger it with Zoho Desk. So let's search for desk. Okay, and there is a ticket created option here. So I can go ahead and choose ticket created. Of course, I need to connect desk here. So I'm going to make a desk connection. In previous videos, I showed you how to set up these connections before, but I'm just going to choose all actions and triggers so I can reuse this connection for other things if I want to. Click authorize. It's going to pop up with a little window here that I need to authorize. Just click accept. Okay, so I have the ability to choose a particular department. In my case, I only have one department here. And I'm not going to put any filter criteria. If you wanted to, you could say um, only show me reminders or only give me notifications for a certain type of ticket that's created, maybe a high priority ticket or something like that. Um, so you could put filter criteria in here. I just want to get notified when any new ticket is created in desk. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit done. And then it's as simple as just adding the Zoho click action on here now. So under apps, we're going to search for click. And um, there's a couple of different options here. All of them accomplish the same thing. So um, you could do message as bot on channel. You could have a bot like a Zoho desk bot that messaged in the channel. Um, you could uh, message in channel, just actually send a message. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this uh, send message as bot on channel. So again, we need to connect click.
Okay. So here's my message. Um, I have the ability to create a customized message here. So I could say um, new ticket for, and then if I want to, I can pull in custom information into this notification. So like I could say, um, I wanted to have maybe the contact name. So I could see in the, the chat channel and click, I can see who it was that created that, like what customer it was that created that ticket. So I click in contact name here, pull in that. In. Again, I can choose the channel. I'm gonna choose that notification channel. And then I have the ability to choose the bot. And again, um, these little bots are just, you know, it's like, it's like a little AI that can remind me of things and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do it from Taz. Taz is the kind of default bot that Zoho has. All right, so we have new ticket for, and we have a contact name and the channel and the bot that's gonna be sending it. And I'm just gonna hit done here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this flow on. And then we're going to go over to the Zoho desk here, and we're going to check to make sure um, that this uh, that this click message actually triggers once we create a new ticket here. Before I move on here, I want to show you one change I had to make. I tested this out, and when we had added the TAS bot into the bot section here in forms, it didn't work. It didn't recognize that. It said that it wasn't a valid bot. And so I had to come in and create a new bot. So I created this Zoho desk bot. And the way that I did that, just go over here to click. And if you click in your profile picture up in the top right-hand corner, and then you click bots and tools, it'll allow you to create a new bot. And then I'm in the Zoho notifications channel here. And all I have to do is just add this bot to this channel. And so I click participants and add participants. And then you see the, the there's a CRM bot, there's a Zoho desk bot here that I created as well. And I add and just, add that bot into the channel, you'll see that there's two participants, myself and the Zoho desk bot in here now. And so now if I go back to the flow, um, this should be set up right. I'm going to click done here. This is on. So I'm going to go back over here to desk. I'm going to create a new ticket now to test this out. So I'm going to select my contact, put a subject line in. and hit submit. Bam, immediately Zoho notification, new ticket for, and then uh, gave a contact ID number. This is probably something you wanna fix in here. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it today, but um, when I put the contact in here, it gave me the contact ID instead of the contact name. Really easy thing to fix. You just have to do a fetch on the contact record to get the actual person's name so that you can put it into the ticket here. Uh, again, we won't worry about today. The message worked. We're getting a notification now. So all my notifications we can use, you know, if, if the application has a Zoho click functionality, you can create the notification in the application. If it doesn't, really simple just to create it with Zoho Flow. You can connect it to any Zoho application and almost anything, any action that happens within any Zoho application can be a trigger for Zoho Flow. So um, that's how you can direct those click messages into a single channel and get all of your notifications in one place. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and leave us a comment. You can also subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. If you want to learn more about Zoho or would like help with anything Zoho related, head on over to our website at zcrmhelp.com to connect with us. Thanks for watching.